So it's, uh, it began as a 1931 Model A pickup truck. Uh, there's not much of the original <laughs> truck left except for the cab. It's um, only the cab? Yeah, Just it's only that. the cab and then the front uh, basically grill shell and uh, like eight inches of the hood. Oh, okay. So <laughs> um, I built my own chassis for it. Uh, it's two by three inch, 120 wall uh, rectangular tubing for just like the basis of the rails. Mm -hmm. Uh, 120 wall, uh, one and three quarter DOM roll cage tubing for the back half. You know, initially I, I thought about going uh, to like a company and having them make a chassis for me, because um, I thought it might be kind of fun to do that and might make it a little bit easier. But uh, then I kind of realized to get what I wanted and to make it sit the way that I've wanted it to once it's finished, I said I have to do it myself. And honestly, it would yield a more rewarding end product. So that's what I did. Um, so it's got a pretty considerable Z in the front and rear, as you can see. Uh, so that's to get kind of the front of the frame positioned correctly for the suspension pickup points. I built my own independent front suspension, so that it's a double A-arm setup. Um, and kind of figured out the geometry and pickup points on my own for that. I used a calculator online to kind of figure it all out. Um, went with a double A-arm instead of a McPherson independent front for the sake of, you know, making it look better. Yeah. I didn't want big struts sticking up and stuff. Um, and really wanted to build something that would handle well. I mean, most hot rods just have a solid axle under the front, a dead axle. Uh, that wasn't really, I, I wanted to build something I could drive, have fun driving. I could hop in at any time I wanted, hopefully handle pretty well. Uh, so going independent in the front was a pretty obvious choice. Um, out back, it's got a Ford nine inch, 31 spline rear axle. Uh, it's triangulated four link, and then I did the uh, push rod and bell crank setup out back. Um, partially, cool. yeah, I figured it looked really cool. Uh, I wanted to kind of play off of a trophy truck rear aesthetic, yeah. so I wanted to get that coilover mounted up instead of kind of down below or whatever. Um, and so to accomplish that, uh, put bell cranks and push rods on it. Uh, and it seems like it's going to work pretty well. I'm excited to see how it actually drives, but I'm feeling confident about it. So, so it's mostly an aesthetic thing to put it up there? Yeah, or? yeah, it, it was. Um, so it would have worked also like down here, like regularly? Yeah, know? you easily could have put the coilover, you know, instead of having a bell crank, you could have had the coilover, you know, where this rod is connected to that mount or okay. anything. Yeah. I mean, the sky's the limit when you want to build something from scratch. So the wheels, they're also pretty racy, I would say, and pretty special. I think many, not many people have seen them before. What are them? So the <laughs> wheels I, are probably one of my favorite parts of the whole truck. Um, they are off of Mazda's current DPI, like prototype race car. Um, so it's basically like an IMSA sports car wheel. So they're made by Motegi. They're 18 by 12 and a half and 18 by 13. Um, and wide. yeah, when they found out I had them, uh, they said, that's really cool looking, but who sold them to you and how'd you buy them? Cause they're in big trouble. You're not supposed to have those. So that was kind of fun. Uh, adds a little bit of, you know, flair to it. Cause you're not going to see a set on a car anywhere other than a racetrack. Yeah, so, race track. yeah. I kept hearing rumors that, but you was not very pleased that you showed up. So the engine is a Ford engine, as a yeah. <laughs> I assume. So it's a Ford Coyote. Uh, so five liter V8 out of a Mustang GT. This one's out of a 2011. Uh, came out of a, a, a rolled car and the guy that I got all the stuff from, I basically bought the car, everything minus the body. So I got all the front suspension. I have the rear axle brake to brake, which is sitting inside. It, it, I was going to use it, but it didn't quite fit for what I wanted. Um, I got like the whole interior, the whole console, cluster, dash, everything. I didn't use very much of it, but I got it all. The other part that I did use from the, from the car is the uh, it was a track package car, so I used the Brembo uh, big brakes. So it's a 355 millimeter uh, brake kit on it. It's pretty cool. Real big brakes for what this thing is. We'll hopefully dyno it later this week. It should no problem put down mid 700 at the wheels. Oh, really? <laughs> and I'm hoping, you know, we might jump down on the pulley size, but uh, you know, kind of 800 wheel horsepower range yeah. shouldn't be far off at all. It should be very accomplishable. So. I mean, that should be fun. A lot of power for that much car. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that the truck, we haven't weighed it yet. We're going to weigh it this week. Uh, I'm hoping that it'll come in right around a thousand kilos. So, put it in the So, the plans to go on the racetrack basically. Yeah, Very I mean, I don't, I'm not going to, this isn't a race 
vehicle. I'm not going to go compete anything with it. It's not meant for track days. I mean, I built this to drive it, to go out on the street and have fun. So I could take it to LA, take it to car shows, you know, just go out and have fun anytime I wanted to go drive something fast enough to scare myself. Yeah. Um, but I do want to put it on track at some point and see how it does. I've got plenty of folks that are itching to see that happen. So, so let's see how it goes. Do you think it's possible to just normally drive? Uh, I hope so. I mean, it's not going to be very drivable. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's drivable in the sense that it, it will work and you can take it out anytime you want. It's going to be an assault on the senses. It's going to be very loud. It's not hugely comfortable inside. Um, it's got, uh, for the transmission, it's a it's a Jericho WC44 uh, dog box. So it's straight cut gears. It's basically a NASCAR transmission. So you don't have to shift to clutch or you don't have to clutch to shift. Yeah. Um, so it's you know it's going to be aggressive to drive. It's it's not going to be comfortable by any measure, but um, totally drivable and, and something I do want to go out and actually use. So. Du hast dir Sorgen gemacht, dass deiner zu laut wäre. <lacht> Von drin geht's, muss ich sagen. Wäre ja geil, richtig cool. Richtig cool. Vielleicht kannst du auch noch eine Runde. Oh. Oh. <lacht>